Hi Libras, how are you? It's Leonor. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you for stopping by. For those who are viewing me for the first time, welcome. I do integrate astrology as well as tarot card reads and spiritual messages. My darling Libras, um, I'm working on your Q&A love reads today, all right? This is something that I do while you wait for your general tarot card reads, which is, but uh, they're out there. So if you're looking for your general tarot card reads, I have them. I worked on all 12 zodiac signs, okay? Look for it. It's there. Right now, I'm just concentrating on love reads. In these Q&A love reads, I ask four specific questions. One, how are they feeling about you? Two, what's blocking them from a union or a commitment? Three, if they could write a love letter, what would it say? Four, are they in another relationship? Now, if that question was already answered in the first three questions, I'll ask, how would they feel if you and them were together? Uh, let's get started. One, how are they feeling about you? Let's see. Now, I always invite my cross watchers in these Q and A's. Hi, cross watchers. All right, so just bear with me while I read the energy. All righty. <sighs> Somebody's obsessed and they can't wait. They need to be with you right now. <laughs> um, my word, they really, um, hmm. Um, this person is going through some some situation. Could be for some of them, they could be going through some type of um, health problems. Uh, when I see these um, spears uh, on this person back, they may have back problems, um, chest problem, lung problem. It doesn't have to be for all of you, but. Um, they do think about you so we're talking about exes here because i got today for tomorrow and my two of cups here in the reverse this is an ex of yours there's too many pairs in the reverse um they they're they want to come towards you i feel like they they seem like you're you're a healer like you some of you may be healers um vice versa if it's vice versa they um they think of you as a healer with my six of swords big time because it's when i see this image of of, of the ocean and and you know, I, I i for me the ocean and and the sea anything a river water is peaceful even a bath um, and the Six of Swords is usually a depiction of a sailboat in a, um, in whatever, a canoe, uh, like a, a canoe or a sailboat, a ship, uh, whatever, um, in the water, sailing, right? This person sees you as a healer. Uh, And, and I don't know, I mean, maybe you, it could be anything. It, maybe you make um, amazing meals. Um, maybe you guys have amazing sex. Um, maybe you just make amazing tea. It, it could be anything. You make good rub downs, massages, whatever. Someone here works with their hands a lot um, or is gifted at working with their hands. And they love that about you. You you bring them at peace. This is an ex of, your, of, of yours. Um, now I did say obsessive. I don't know why that came out of my mouth immediately. This could be a twin flame of yours. It's just too many. I see too many pairs like addicted you see the 11 card like one one 
and then I have um, you know my two girls here holding hands my two cups here um, so you may some of you may this may be your twin flame of yours so this is an ex a soulmate you know a soulmate could be doesn't matter whatever They're, they're going through something right now with my strength card in the reverse. I, I don't, it could be, again, health issues, like I sensed. Um, let's keep reading. There's something more. Wow. I don't know if some of them are in a relationship with someone else. It's a karmic partner that they're with. You're not their karmic. Um, you're not their karmic. But they left you for someone else, didn't they? Interesting. Very interesting. Of course it would be a karmic. All right. Um... Where am I going with this? Second question. What's blocking them from a union or a commitment? All right. What's blocking them from a union or a commitment? All right. Um... Yeah, this person is going through health issues. Oh my gosh. It's pretty serious, folks. Um, with the Four Swords and my death card here. Um, and, and I don't mean... T it, I'm taking this as serious meaning they're going through health issues, not, God forbid, if something happens to them. I, I know the depiction of both of these situations is pretty dreary. Um, gosh, that's crazy. That's insane. This, this is a, uh, for a lot of you, this is a soulmate of yours. This is a, this is someone you knew in your past life. Um, yeah big time your person um you place yourself in whatever situation i'm talking about your ex because i'm talking about someone's ex here if you're if you're trying to get back together then you're trying to get back together if this person's trying to get back with you or vice versa but you're not together i sense for a lot of you you're not um because there's someone else in the picture. And um, and they're not doing so well with that person, um, a, a, apart from their health situation. There's a story here that, I'm, that I feel that I'm going to pick up from your past life that you have, or I'm sorry, that you had with this person. Again, this is your soulmate or a twin flame. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay stick to soulmate. Okay, because I don't use twin flame loosely, um, but definitely we always have soulmates for sure. So many of them, <laughs> in my opinion. All right, um, let's see what's blocking them from a union or a commitment. All right. I don't know. I just sense I'm going to pick up a story from your past life. Hold on. All right. So they can't. Yeah, there was someone. They can't. Yeah, this is a karmic partner. Okay. This is a karmic partner. They're with a karmic partner. Okay. With my queen of cups and my four of pentacles in the reverse. So what's blocking them from a union or a commitment? This person. Okay. They're with. All right. 
lots of fighting and bickering is going on. This person is going through severe mental anguish that could also be a health um, um, problem with my five of swords. You know, besides physical, they may be going through some type of mental illness. Um, well, I don't know why I said illness, but it could be for some of them, they may have some type of mental illness or um, challenge. Uh, it could be um, anxiety, big time, migraines, lack of sleep. Uh, yeah. See, it used to make this so. You're the empress here. Um, I got Libra, and uh, you may have a child in common or children in common, or you used to be married to this person, um, had some type of commitment. So, with my Nine of Cups and my Empress here, they think about you constantly. Um, some of you may be um, biracial. Um, or you're seeing someone from a different culture, religion, race, uh, not for all. Um, I just sense that baby, for some of you, whoever has a baby with this person, um, this baby is probably biracial. Um, but what baby nowadays isn't biracial? <laughs> It sounds like two thirds of the world have biracial babies now. Uh, people are having biracial babies, which is beautiful. All right, in my opinion, not a lot of people will agree with me, but I think it's beautiful. All right, and they do come out very beautiful, these biracial babies. What's blocking them from a union or a commitment is 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 um, this person most of all. Okay, they're karmic. I'm gonna say they're karmic partner. All right. Number three, what's, I'm sorry, uh, number three, if they could write a love letter, what would it say? Now, in these love letters, I like to make them in love letter formats. So just bear with me while I read the energy. Okay. All right, so, ready? To whom it may concern. My past with you isn't something that I regret because I had a better life back then, more so than I do now. I took advantage of the time. I took advantage of our commitment. I learned a lot from you. I shouldn't have been so controlling, jealous, competitive with you. I know that you're over me. I know that you have no love. I know that you probably probably always saw me as a child anyway. You were always the smart one. You always had a good head on your shoulder and still do. You're a fighter, a warrior. When it comes to business, you're pretty serious about it. All work, no play. But you have an amazing heart, and that's what I love about you. It's the reason why I mostly stayed with you. It's unconditional. You're wise beyond your years, intuitive, And you're more decisive than I am.
You're not a liar. You're a truth speaker. You're a truth seeker. You're a healer. Your life is balanced. And all that was taken away from me in an instant. I miss coming home to you. I miss giving you flowers. I miss going out on dates. I should have listened to you when you were telling me to go right and I went left. I should have listened to you when you told me to go up and I went down. Boy, am I paying for that right now. I'm with this evil person who's envious of you and your beauty because this person will always know that you're my queen, my king of my world. You're spiritual and this person's not. They know that I will always choose you before I choose them. They know that I would go and see you just so that I could have a moment of happiness, gratitude. Even talking to you makes me love myself again. You give me confidence. You bring up my spirits. I would love to start something new with you again. This time, I will put you up in a pedestal. I want to have another child with you. But even if we can't, I would like to do so in the future. I almost feel like my life is slipping by my hands so fast. Every time I blink, it's a new day and you're not in it. You're my flower, my peace. I miss sitting with you, watching movies, playing games. It's too bad that you said bye to the relationship a long time ago. Just know that I think about you every night. I love you. The end. That's um, pretty heavy. Folks. Ugh. All right, last question. Um, I have two questions. Um, I don't know which one I should choose. Are they in another relationship? I'm trying to see who my crowd is. My crowd is. Um, or should I ask, how would they feel if you and them were together? Let's see. Um, <clears throat> who are my, who's my crowd here? So this is an ex wanting come, to come towards you. Vice versa if it's vice versa, right? They're with a karmic. Um, that they left you for. I mean, I'm sensing that big time. And if they didn't, um, you know, if you guys broke up, they um, they moved on pretty quickly. And, and that hurt you. Either way, you were hurt.
I'm going to ask, um, how would they feel if you and them were together? Because they're, they're in a karmic relationship. So let's see what, what the message says. How would they feel if you and them were together? Okay, let's see. Okay. They will take off their mask, okay? The mask that they've been wearing all these years or months that you've been separated and show their true self. To you, their vulnerable side, okay? Seems like this person might have had some type of ego, pride. Um, they, I did see Leo here two times. Um, Libra, Taurus is here, Then, if that means anything to you. Gemini, Scorpio, Aquarius, even Aries. Again, if that means anything to you. They, um, <sighs> they want to come and apologize for everything. Um, they have been very lost without you. They see you as, um, I don't know if some of you may, um, with the star here, because it's right in the middle of the spread. Um, I don't know if some of you have like a high following or, in, or, or you're in the uh, public eye or a public communicator uh, you do something that that catches people attention or you just you know you may you're just popular there's popularity here for some of you anyway um what's this hmm interesting so they're karmic um, with the tower and, and, and my the tower here and, and the page of cups. Um, you know, with the page of cups, it's like they, they just want to come towards you, right? They want to come towards you, apologize, take off that mask that they've been wearing, show their, show their true feelings, their true self, you know, um, the side that you might have never known they had. <laughs> Okay, um, and if they if you did, you know they didn't sh they didn't show it so much, um, so much so. It's almost like they're karmic here with the tower. Um, showed them a um, they showed them how um, two things how to love themselves. Okay, maybe this person didn't have self confidence, or they, maybe they were insecure. Um, for whatever reason that may be, um, I do sense immaturity, insecurity, um, this karmic partner also made this person, sh um, believe in you again, regret what they did. Um, this karmic partner showed this person that that you were the best thing they've ever had. Wow. I just felt that. Um, they're not, this comic partner is not going anywhere. Okay, so even though they want to approach you and, and, and they feel all these things about you, um, this karmic partner is a nightmare. I don't know, can you see this? It's a nightmare to them. I, I, don't, I don't know this person, okay? <laughs> for, for all we know, you know, they deserve someone like that, right? Especially if you were in a situation where you were in a third party energy uh, or this person was a narcissist or is a narcissist. Um, this, this karmic partner of theirs is, is 
if you thought that you were in a really bad relationship with your ex that wants to come towards you, this ex of yours, okay, that may be having health issues, um, that wants to come and apologize and show their gratitude. If you thought you were being treated bad by them in the past, this person has come around to treat them worse, like 10 times worse with the tower. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. That's it, my love. That's all I have for you. If you need a private reading, my email is in the description box. Love you. Bye.